classic retailer is back. Well, that's right. Zellers has officially made its return as the first wave of shops of Hudson Bay stores begin to open. For a look at what's taking shape, we're joined now by Bruce Winder, retail analyst and president of Bruce Winder Retail. Good morning, Bruce. We've got to get your initial thoughts on this. You've seen the pictures. You've been showing them live for most of the morning. What is your thoughts around Zellers reopening? Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, you know what? I was in there just a few minutes ago, and I'm actually quite impressed with the assortment. Um, I was a little bit skeptical when I heard about this uh, initiative, but when I went in there, you know, I've walked around. I like the price points. There's nice low price points. You know, I was telling someone it sort of is like a, a mix between Joe Fresh and Ikea and Miniso, and uh, I think the team has done a really good job. I was really impressed with the assortment. And you talk about all these other uh, companies, stores that kind of mimic what Zellers is trying to do. Walmart's done it, PC's done it. What really sets Zellers apart or are their strategies more uh, alike than we think? Well, I think that uh, one of the challenges Zellers is going to have is getting people here to the bay because it's in the bay. If these were freestanding stores, I think they might be a bit more successful uh, because it is different. Now, one of the things I've learned that they're differentiating through is a brand from Australia called Anko, which is used by Kmart Australia. And that's really the assortment here. So it's a different brand and uh, the price points are nice, but the challenge will be to get enough people through the store here, which is a bay, to make the numbers work and show a profit. Well, they did mention that they're selling online. Do you think that's going to help them at all, considering that this brand you're talking about is from Australia? It doesn't really have much presence here. Yeah, it doesn't have much presence here. They're going to have to build that through some advertising, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, it's the first time that Zellers has an online presence, which is kind of interesting. And uh, we'll see how that plays out. I mean, they have a great fulfillment center with robots and things, but we'll see if the customer is willing to really invest in them. But you know what? We'll see what happens. We need a little more competition in this area of retail. Competition indeed, but the biggest question is, do you think the strategy will work? Will it actually stick? Will consumers come to shop? Um, I would have to say that probably it won't be, in my opinion, a large contributor to HBC's sales and, and profits. It'll be fun for a while. We're all excited about it. They're going to get some pickup sales from people who are already in here who build their basket at the bay. But will people make it a destination to come? I really don't think so, unfortunately. But you never know what will happen. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> well, we'll just have to wait and see. Only time will tell. Bruce Winder, retail analyst, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing your thoughts. Thanks. Take care. Take care.